Hello, sir. So we are uh, Karmanya Tyagi, Desai Dhyani and Desai Zeel uh, here for our review three video. And the topic of our uh, project was smart irrigation system using Bluetooth module and controller that monitors various soil parameters and sends the information directly to the farmer's phone. So uh, I'll tell you about the introduction, objective and literature review. So let us start with the introduction. RJ component represents a design of an automatic irrigation system using a low cost Arduino and Bluetooth module, which can be remotely controlled through a mobile phone. Uh, and uh, the microcontroller along with the HC05 Bluetooth module is the brain of the system and several sensors such as gas and moisture sensors are used to detect soil temperature, gas and moisture in the field. The sensors employed in the system record the real time values of the physical parameters and feed them to microcontrollers, which are displayed on the farmer's phone through wireless transmission. So uh, now we'll talk about the objective. So the main aim of this paper is to provide an automatic irrigation system there, uh, thereby saving time, uh, water, money, and power of the farmer. Microcontroller uh, based uh, controlled remote irrigation system developed for the ag agricultural plantation, which is placed at the remote location and required pro water provided for uh, plantation when the humidity of the soil goes below the uh, set point value. Now we'll talk about the literature review. So far, we have studied three papers. Uh, the first one was written by Ms. Nikita Nandini and Pavitra. The observation of this paper was an automated uh, irrigation sensor uses a smartphone to capture and process digital images of the soil near the root zone of the crop and estimate the water content. And uh, the other paper was uh, written by R. Ashok and G. G. Amina. So uh, the observation here was the better performance is observed under electromagnetic inter interference also. And um, the third one and the most important paper that we read was uh, written by um, Shem Ridha and A. Salam. So uh, the observation in this paper was a Bluetooth technique for trans uh, transceiver data from uh, slave to master monitoring safe data, display the variation of water, soil conditions in real time, and a computer simulation design in addition to neural network to improve the, improve the performance. So now Dhyani will tell you about further slide so talking about how we are implementing this uh, technology first i'll tell you about the components of different different components and sensors we are using in a project we'll be using the arduino board as a microcontroller we are using a gas sensor moisture sensor temperature sensor and a bluetooth module and a motor pump 5 volt battery and a breadboard and the wires now uh, in this in the project we have connected all these components with jumper wires and how this work is we have to provide a remote irrigation system to the farmer. So what it will do is the different sensors give different parameters of what the temperature is around you, how humid your climate is, and uh, how much is the temperature value. And according to all these parameters, the motor needs to be turned off and on automatically. This is how a remote irrigation system works. So what we basically do is we take the readings from different sensors, from the temperature sensor, gas sensor, and the moisture sensor. And these sensor readings are fed to the code that we have written in the C language. This is fed, and when the set, uh, set parameters are above certain value, and we feel that the plants are very dried up, the motor is turned off automatically. Once the motor is turned on, these values are also displayed on the ThinkSpeak module that we developed on the farmer's phone. So at any time he can see whatever parameters and whether the field uh, whether the field is being irrigated or not. Also, we have an additional gas sensor in case of the, if there is any leakage of uh, pipes or any gas LPG leakage, the gas sensor alerts turns on, which turns off the motor, which turn on the motor pump to prevent any disasters in this. Uh, our model is also controlled by the Bluetooth from a phone. If you press a certain key, the water can be also turned on by you if you want to. So this is the working model of our project. And this is how we assembled our connections. So this is the breadboard, the three sensors, the plant, the Arduino board, the cable through which we connect our laptop. And this is the water pump. As we sense that there is not enough moisture in the uh, plant, it will the moisture sensor will notify the water pump. And through the pipe, it will water the uh, plant, as we can see. As we can see, uh, it waters the plant because it did not sense enough moisture in the soil. 
now when there is enough water in the uh, soil as we as we have uh, put the water through the pipe so the it will notify the water pump and when we connect through the laptop through the arduino cable uh, it senses that there is enough moisture and uh, the water does not come out from the pipe now uh, the all the three sensors the values of all the three sensors will be sent to the bluetooth module and through the bluetooth module uh, it will directly go to the farmer's phone and this we have done through the online iot platform called thingspeak which can be used for the purpose of the real time monitoring of moisture sensor data and also activating and de deactivating at the same as required this feature can be used for remote monitoring and control by this means we create channels on the platform therefore thereby eliminating eliminating the need of personally monitoring by the farmer so it provides the facility of linking the arduino controller which we have utilized for our project to be linked it to the online platform by means of initializing a custom library that is provided by the thingspeak model so this is the uh, reading that when uh, moisture was enough we have the positive reading and moisture was not enough uh, we get the negative reading uh, as the uh, farmer can control through over his phone we have in the code we have provided when he presses a the uh, water pump can uh, will turn on and when he presses d the motor motor pump will turn off and through the and in his in his phone he will get the readings uh, of the the values provided by the sensors that is the temperature humidity and the co value value if there if any kind of gas is present so uh, coming to the social importance a smart irrigation system offer a variety uh, of advantages over the traditional irrigation system the smart system will uh, help us a better control of the system and can make decisions independently even if the farmer is away from the field uh, additionally we all we all have seen many places in the country that have experienced uh, many droughts and we know that water resources are very precious so with this system we can protect our resources and uh, and also uh, boost the environment now concluding uh, the proposed system can be used to switch on and off the water sprinkler according to the soil moisture levels and thereby automating the process of irrigation uh, which is one of the most uh, time consuming activities in farming the system uses information from soil moisture sensor to irrigate soil which help us to prevent uh, under irrigation or over irrigation through this project uh, it can be concluded that that there can be considerable development in farming with the use of iot automation thus the system is a potential solution to the problem faced in the existing manual and cumbersome process of irrigation so as we can see we have taken some reference from some of the the journals such as uh, greenhouse automation using zigbee and smartphone uh, some journal like a wireless application of drip irrigation automation supported by uh, soil moisture sensors and some other journals thank you